Hi everyone, I'm Dar with the Helia Technology Report and today we're going to have a look at a Panasonic TDE 200 phone system and how to configure VoIP or SIP extensions on a, a Panasonic TDE 200. So this is a Yealink T27G uh, phone. It's, uh, it's one of our favorites just because of how cost effective, really good quality, uh, big screen that's um, uh, monochrome, so it's it's high contrast, easy to see, lots of buttons on, and generally easy to use, and again, good price. And we're going to connect this into the Panasonic TD200 phone system. Now, before we do, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Helia Canada. And we've got tons of videos on there of all things VoIP and SIP, but more than that, commercial equipment. Uh, and so we've got alarm systems, how to configure alarm systems. Uh, we're going to have some smart farming uh, videos on there for the new year. So things like moisture sensors and temperature sensors. Uh, and we've got uh, camera systems, all sorts of things. And so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification as we add some new videos. So uh, youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Also, check out our online store. It's at buyphonesonline.ca and lots of good products. Anything that we recommend and we install and we're using, we're going to be putting up on our online store. So there's tons of stuff on there. And if you're buying more than a couple units, uh, three, four units, uh, send us an email because we can get you much better pricing uh, and we just have to send you a, a coupon code. Some of our agreements with manufacturers require a, a certain minimum on there. So we're able to get you some better pricing than what you see, but buy phonesonline.ca and there's lots of products, everything that we uh, recommend and that we use on a regular basis. Without further ado, let's check this out and see how this is done. Okay, so this is the TD200 uh, interface, and this, of course, is the Yealink T27 phone that we're going to be connecting uh, to it. Let's click on slot. And then from slot, uh, first thing we need to do is check some IP address information. So I'm gonna uh, mouse over this card properties and select that. And the Panasonic TD200 has two IP addresses that are used and they're different. Uh, this first one here, IP address for VoIP DSP. Uh, that's the first IP address. The second one here, IP address for IPC MPR card. Now this is the IP address that we need to register the VoIP phone. Um, do not use this IP address because this is an IP address that is for specifically for my network. And so you need to put in an IP address for your network and it's not going to be this one. So I'm gonna select this. I've put this onto a uh, notepad here so I have it for later reference. Uh, we're gonna cancel this. We're gonna go down to this IPC MPR and select shelf. And you see I have a blue area and a yellow area. The blue area is for VoIP trunks connecting to the public telephone network. Now, um, the yellow section is for VoIP phones. So things like uh, this Yealink phone here. And so we need to have a look at both of them. First of all, we're gonna have a look at this uh, VoIP uh, shelf property. Okay, so it says it needs to be out of service, but we're not gonna make any changes, so uh, we're not worried about that right now. Now, this first entry is very important. SIP client port number. This by default is 35060, which is good. Uh, it, the default port for SIP is 5060. That's the industry standard, uh, but we need to have a different number in here so it doesn't conflict with other parts of the systems. And we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, also, when you're using a registration method, which is the most common method for connecting VoIP trunks, this number gets negotiated automatically. So what happens is when you put your registration in for your VoIP trunks for connecting uh, to the public telephone, network it connects to your server uh, or your your service provider on port 5060 that's the most common and then uh, your service provider replies back on the port that the request was was originally made on and so in this case 35060 so it automatically gets negotiated it's not um, it's usually all right to leave it on this port so 
Uh, we're going to cancel that. Now, what's really important is for this, for the yellow uh, section or for the uh, SIP trunk section, this number here, 5060, has to be different. Now, 5060, again, is the industry default for SIP, uh, for VoIP. And if this is 5060, it just makes things a little bit easier. So I recommend that being 5060. Now, I'm going to go cancel. If you do not have this yellow uh, bar here, you will find it on the on the uh, right hand side. And there is a V SIP S I P E X T 32, and you simply drag this over here. Now I've got one already, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, you need to put it in the first yellow slot here. So once you do that. Um, I gotta tell you one more thing here. You'll see this activation uh, keys button. Now by default, the TDE 200 phone system does not come with any licenses uh, for uh, SIP extensions. And so you're gonna have to buy licenses. Now you get those from your Panasonic dealer. Now, and we are not Panasonic dealers, but if you don't know who yours are or you're looking for a Panasonic dealer, Please give us a call, give me a call, and I will put you in a touch with Panasonic dealers that we like and trust here in Canada. Uh, so if you're in Canada, you need a dealer, call me, I can help you, put you in touch with a dealer. Now, there's one line here that says SIP extensions. Uh, you'll notice that it says two here. By default, this is zero, but I've had to go, go to a Panasonic dealer and buy some licenses. And that's what you see here, the licenses, I bought two of them. So you need to have those in there. Uh, and now we can have a look at the actual extension. So I'm gonna click on Port Properties and it's gonna come up with the extensions that are configured. So I've got two SIP licenses and I have two SIP extensions. I've got 165 and 166. Now I believe uh, the default password is exactly the same. It's also 165 and definitely don't do that. You need a strong password here because if you don't, you definitely will get hacked and you will have fraudulent calls put on your VoIP trunks and you will be responsible for those costs, which are usually hundreds of dollars. So uh, a couple things, first of all, this is grayed out, so I can't change it. Uh, to be able to change it, what you need to do is put this card in out of service, O-U-S. So we're gonna click that, we're gonna get the card out of service, and now we're gonna go back into the port properties, and we're gonna have to generate a new password so I've got a complex password here what I recommend that you do is go over to the information superhighway and uh, I'm using strong password generator.com but just search Google for strong password and there's a bunch of these generators uh, and it will generate a strong password you can copy this and paste it into uh, the password field here so um, I've got a username I've got the password, and then I've got the IP address of my Panasonic TD200. Those are the three core pieces of information I need to register this T27 phone. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to go and um, back to a web browser. Now, these phones, they have an IP address associated with them. And one of the easiest ways to find it is you press this button here for menu. It says menu. And then uh, one for status, so I'm gonna press one. And then number two here says IP address. And so it says 10.100.94.153. So what I'm gonna do is open up a web browser and go to that IP address. And so I find the phone, and now the user and password by default is admin. And again, this is a password you should change as well uh, because all of these things can be hacked and uh, as, Everyone says use strong passwords. Okay, so here's the Yealink interface. Uh, I, by default, you'll be on the status page. Uh, I'm on the account page here, and this is where we have to put information. So the first one here is label. Uh, this is what shows up on the phone. So I can say Joe165, and that's what's gonna be on the display here. Uh, display name. Also, same thing. Uh, one of them is uh, what shows up on the phone. The other one is what send out for caller ID when you make a, a call. Registration name. Now, this is really important. 165. That comes from here. 165. 
and then for username 165 again and then we need a password so the password is this password here I put it on my uh, notepad so I'm just going to select it from there and put it in this password field and then the next piece of information is your server host now that's your Panasonic TD200 IP address so I'm going to go up here I've copied it over here again yours is going to be different and then this here port 5060 is that port that we just finished talking about and again if I go cancel and I'm going to look at the card properties and you see 5060 so this 5060 matches this 5060 here now I'm going to cancel that put this card back in service and you'll see that this turns green up here this little light and now I'm going to go back here you can see the account is disabled uh, before we enable it server expires uh, 3600 is one hour that's that means how often the phone checks in with the phone system I find that to be too long so I'm gonna put it at 300 which is 300 seconds or five minutes and we're going to change this to enabled you can see the registration uh, status up here says disabled uh, that's what's going to change after I submit these so it's completed it says registration status disabled now it's registered so this is now registered and if I look at the screen it now says Joe 165 so that is absolutely wonderful now what I can do is I can dial another extension on this phone system 101 which is in the other room so I don't know if we'll hear it but I can hear it in the background there and it's ringing. So that's uh, super awesome. And then uh, I can make outbound calls on this as well. So I'm gonna dial nine and then my cell phone number and send. And we'll put that down here. And here's my cell phone and you can see the call coming in. So everything is working super easy. Um, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Uh, please check us out online, our online store, buyphonesonline.ca, and you'll find great products. You'll find this phone, lots of other phones and more videos. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Helia Canada, and subscribe. That way, as we have more Panasonic videos and other videos, you'll get a notification. Uh, again, I'm Dar with the Helia Technology Report. Thanks for watching.